YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today I have a special video for you because, well, that's what I do. I know some of you hit me up like, yo, B, you've been hitting us off with some fragrances that, well, are well, not the most affordable fragrances out there. And I say, you know what, I got you. So today I'm hitting you off with seven of the best fragrances you can pick up for under 25 bucks. Yes, you heard me correctly, under 25 bucks here, man. I think we will really put ourselves in a position where anyone can afford the fragrances that we are talking about today. And if you pay special attention, you might even be able to pick some of these up for under 20 bucks. Now, here's the deal. I have these fragrances linked and listed down below for you if you care to check them out. If you find one or two or seven that suits your fancy, then they will be listed down below. Below. Now the first fragrance I want to talk about today is one from a guy who knows what he's doing when it comes down to style, fashion, setting trends, and this is from the house of Sean John, and this one is none other than Sean John's 3AM. Now 3AM is a fragrance that I've talked about on this channel for multiple occasions because this fragrance is just a all around great scent. I actually came across this one someone who worked with me years ago and this thing has just been something that I smelled on them over and over again and I was always intrigued and it turned heads. I thought this was a niche fragrance when I smelled it. It's extremely easy to wear and some of your notes with this one it's a freshy so expect things like bergamot mandarin cardamom is in here you also have some fig leaf i believe just a great scent that i don't think you will go wrong with i know a lot of you out there hit me up when i exclude this one from my list like yo b what were you thinking and right now i'm thinking it needs to be on today's list sean john's 3 a Next up on our list today, we have obviously another extremely affordable fragrance. And this is one that I've talked about from time to time, but it doesn't get a lot of airtime here on this channel. But the fragrance is good nonetheless. The fragrance comes from the house of Guess, and this one is Guess 1981 Los Angeles. Not to be confused with the other Guess fragrances out there. Now, this fragrance to me is very different than what we talked about when it came down to the Sean John fragrance. Guess obviously has been doing fashion for years and they really made this one a player in the game so to speak now I know a lot of you out there are thinking just like I'm thinking that this reminds you of something if you smelled it and if not this fragrance is going to remind you of that from Versace which is the original Versace Eros. Now this fragrance does have some mint, you have plum, you have mandarin within this fragrance, but it provides this warm spicy feel, but it also has this underlying freshness to it that just makes this fragrance work. If you're looking for an attractive fragrance, one that really just checks all of the boxes that you would experience with something like Versace Eros, but for a more affordable price point. Now this one isn't as long lasting as the original. Versace Eros if you have one of those original bottles but it is a moderate performing fragrance so you should be okay as it comes down to it especially for 25 bucks so be sure to get your nose on this fragrance it's one that you would likely want to add into your collection especially if you are on a budget guess 1981 Los Angeles now the next fragrance I want to talk about today is one that I originally came across within I believe it was Neiman Marcus or possibly Nordstrom's and this fragrance has been in my collection for years and I've purchased multiple bottles this one was like love on first sniff for me not only did I purchase a bottle for myself I purchased a bottle for a friend who was with me because this thing is dope the fragrance comes from the house of Mandarina Duck and this one is Mandarina Duck pure black now there are a lot of other Mandarina Duck fragrances out there but when it comes down to me and what I'm looking for I think that this one takes the cake you get something with this fragrance that has this underlying sweetness and warmth to it and that's what I really enjoy about this fragrance. It's almost this oriental vibe but you get this sweetness from the vanilla within this fragrance which happens to be Madagascar vanilla and it is just an amazing scent. Now in addition to that Madagascar vanilla you also get Tonka, you get um, 
pepper within this fragrance and then you also get some some tangerine here um it almost again has this oriental vibe to it that is just a great great performance scent that subtle sweetness within this fragrance may not be everyone's cup of tea but um the great feedback that i've gotten from this fragrance over the years is really one of the reasons why i continue to put this one in the forefront now as i mentioned these fragrances are under 25 bucks and for retail i purchased this fragrance in 2009 for maybe 2009 maybe 2010 something along those lines for about 90 bucks per bottle so if you can find this one out there on the gray market for under that 25 dollar price point then you are good to go let's go make sure you try this fragrance if you have not tried it out let me know if you've ever dove into the house of men arena duck i haven't tried all of their fragrances really this is like a one and done for me i know they have a ton of fragrances out there but that's the one that i go back to over and over again now if you're anything like me the compliment factor is just something that really is one of the bright spots when it comes down to wearing fragrances right you're putting yourself in a position to be well, more widely accepted and those compliments roll in it makes you feel amazing but smelling good is one thing but you also have to look good so shout out to today's video sponsors bringing us through and this is our good people over at Tiege Hanley. Now, if you know anything about me and what I've done on this channel for years, I've been talking about what Tiege Hanley does because they bring you affordable, uncomplicated skincare for men and it fits right into today's topic. Be sure to click on the link down below because Tiege Hanley is going to hook you up with a free gift on your first box because, well, you rocking with your boy. So, as I mentioned, Tiege Hanley has everything you need, it's uncomplicated skincare for men and it's shipped directly to your door. You can start off with the level one skincare kit to make sure that your skin tone, your skin appearance, and your hydration is on point go ahead and start off with their facial wash you use this once in the morning and once at night to make sure that your skin is hydrated and clean next one of my favorite parts here is going to be your facial scrub you use this twice a week it's going to make sure that you're removing all that dirt and grime from your face so you can be looking your best and you'll also include in your am and pm moisturizer the am moisturizer has that built-in spf so when you're roaming the streets smelling your best you can also look your best and make sure that your skin is protected from the sun that pm moisturizer that's going to make sure that your skin is rehydrated at night and help repair it so you wake up feeling and looking that much better and one of the final things i want to throw out there with t shanley everything can be mixed and match if you want to start off with level one perfect and if you work your way up to level three like your boy then you have that as well if you need acne treatment they have everything you need be sure to click on the link down below for a free gift from my peoples over at t shanley when it comes down to your first box they'll know that i sent you so be sure to not leave anything to chance and use Tiege Hanley. Now, speaking of not leaving anything to chance, this next fragrance is one that you should definitely try. This one comes from Ed Hardy, and this one is Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. Now, Love and Luck is a great fragrance, and I've used so many bottles of this over the years, and the price point is just amazing now most of the fragrances that we talked about today to get that ideal price point you would have to order this one online however you can walk into a few discount stores like marshall's tj maxx etc and you may stumble across ed hardy's love and luck this is just a phenomenal fragrance it does wonders for the spring and summer as we begin to transition from the winter into the spring then you want to make sure that you are bringing your a game and this is a nice freshy that does work now the performance on this one is a little iffy at this point but for the price point on this one you really can't go wrong this one has a likening to uh, creed's millisime imperial and it's not the same but um it does have some similar qualities that i think a lot of you out there will enjoy you can dress this one up but more specifically you can wear this one casually white t-shirt shorts and you will be set 
Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. The next fragrance I wanna talk about comes from the house of Armoth. And to me, Armoth does a lot of good things when it comes down to fragrances. Now they are a clone house or they recreate fragrances. And this one here is a nice spin on a legendary fragrance from the house of Creed as we just mentioned. And uh, this one is a twist on Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And this one is from Armoth and this one is Trey Nui Pour Ohm. Now with a name like Nuit, you would think that this one is a night fragrance, but to me, this one is a nice daytime fragrance with a creamy twist. Now with Green Irish Tweed and this fragrance, you can expect the fragrance to be green and have that uh, outdoorsy feel, but this one is definitely a uh, classic casual fragrance it has a upscale feel to it now with this fragrance here you can expect notes like lemon verbena lavender violet leaf and some spicy notes all together but it also has a creamy feel to it that is a very different than something you would expect from green irish tweed i enjoy this fragrance i know a lot of you out there do as well and for the price point well you really can't go wrong be sure to try this fragrance out add it to your collection if you don't have it and this is, could be a good starter fragrance for uh, a kid out there as well if you're looking to share a little fragrance love with some people in the household now the next fragrance that we'll talk about is a legend in its own right and the fragrance really needs no introduction but obviously we're doing a list and I have to introduce it. The fragrance comes from the house of Nautica and this one is Nautica Voyage. Now Nautica Voyage is green, it's fresh, it's fruity, it's floral, and it also has this underlying powdery feel to it. As you would expect with the name like Nautica Voyage, you would expect this one to be an aquatic fragrance. And it definitely is that, but it lacks a super saltiness that you get with a lot of aquatic fragrances. And that I personally enjoy with the scent. Now there is some saltiness here, but this one is more powdery, more creamy, and just an overall inviting fresh green fruity scent. It's one that I personally enjoy. And again, as I mentioned, this one is legendary in its own right because for the price point, it checks a ton of boxes. Longevity check, projection check, and just an all around great smelling fragrance check sometimes when you get fragrances that are on the lower price point spectrum you begin to lose some of those things that make a fragrance great you begin to get a lot of alcohol in the opening and within the fragrance none of the fragrances that we're talking about today you would experience that with but with this one here it's definitely out of the mix they did a phenomenal job with this fragrance and i personally think this one is well worth more than the 25 dollars you can pick this fragrance up for because you can likely pick it up for less than that great fragrance stands out on its own nautica voyage now the final fragrance i want to talk about today is a fragrance that i've had maybe i think probably at least 10 bottles of over the years and it's just a top tier scent in my personal opinion this one also comes from the house of sean john and this one is sean john's unforgivable now there's another fragrance on this list today that has a similar vibe but it's different and I believe that this one is the superior fragrance between the two. And the fragrance that I'm comparing this one to is Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. Now it's said that these fragrances were both modeled after um, Creed's Millicene Imperial, but this fragrance does its own thing. Just like Diddy would do, bad boy, take that, take that. Take this fragrance, spray it on, and go on about your day, and you are going to smell amazing. Compliments are going to roll in. Plus, if you're using my people over at T. Shanley, I think Diddy would be happy as well, because he's going to say, you look amazing be sure to check this fragrance out i think all of the fragrances that we mentioned today are going to be solid contenders for that entry level price point and they don't smell cheap and that's one of the things that i was making sure happened on this list is that you had great fragrances for phenomenal prices that did not smell like their price point be sure to check these fragrances out as well as click on the link down below and holler at my people over at t shanley because they're gonna have you covered that's all i have for you guys and girls out there today as always i'm your boy big b b and hit the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the god damn